I wanted to say a couple things about the new pass-fail policy. I know the college notified you this week that that's now your option. So that's your option for one of your classes or for all of your classes. It's really up to you. So uh, if you're trying to figure out how to navigate that decision, um, of course you need to talk to your academic advisor, but I want to try to help you think about what's what's even going on and what this announcement means. So um, first of all, I want to say that, that to take that choice is not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt you at Lafayette, and it is not going to hurt you as you apply for jobs, graduate school, law school, professional school of any kind. This is not going to be a problem. Taking courses pass-fail, first of all, is a really normal thing that people do during their time in college. Um, Lafayette, uh, under normal circumstances, offers the option, although I want to explain in a minute some of the differences, but it's not going to look bad on your transcript. Um, and in fact, there are colleges all over the country that simply have done it across the board, have gone pass-fail. I think it's great that you have the option here because if you have courses where you're doing really well and you are in a position in terms of health and, and resources and things like that to um, continue and, and earn the grade that you want, then you can take the letter grade. But if um, all of the things in this moment, uh, illness, whether it's a coronavirus or not, um, it's, you know, it's a kind of hard time of the year where I often get sick. But of course, if, if you or anyone in your family has a coronavirus, uh, it's going to be hard to finish this semester out. And so you should really think about taking the option, I would say, in that case. Um, but it's also just a time where we're all experiencing a lot of anxiety. Um, you sit down to work and your mind is just kind of blank and you read the same sentences over and over. Even if you don't feel that anxious, you just might not feel that motivated. Being at home is so hard. Um, and I don't just mean like not being able to leave the house, but I know that it's hard to go back home and work with your families. Okay. So if all of that is affecting you in a way that you don't think um, you can sort of see the semester out and earn the grade that you had hoped for, take the pass fail option for, for one of your or two of your classes or for all of your classes to go for it. Feel free. It's there for you to help you to finish college, right? To stay on track with your education and to take a lot of the pressure off. I think actually the, the reality is that many of you will do as good of work or if not better work, if you take the pass fail option, because it will take some of the stress away and so we'll kind of be able to calm your mind and you can still keep working, all right? So take the option that's best for you right now. I know that in college you often are thinking forward toward where is college going to get you and those kinds of things. But I really want to encourage you that, first of all, that's, that's not always the only way to think about college. But right now, I really think you have to prioritize not just your physical health, but really your mental health. And by that, I don't just mean if you have an anxiety disorder or something like that, although that's really important, um, but just your stress level. If, if you can find a configuration that improves your stress level and improves your kind of a number of responsibilities if you're being overwhelmed right now, take that option, okay? And the rest will fall into place later. So normally, if you did pass-fail, uh, the professor would have to sign off on it, so would your academic advisor, and you would have to do that during dropout, the first two weeks of the semester. So this differs in a number of ways. Your academic advisor will still play the central role um, but you don't have to tell me, you don't have to tell any of your professors whose classes you're in that you're going to take the pass-fail option. Um, indeed, I won't know that you took it uh, until I enter your grade at the end of the semester. Okay, so why would we not want you um, to have to tell your professors? I think that it's supposed to 
protect you and ensure the quality of your education in a couple of ways. First of all, it means that your professors will continue to give you feedback as if you were earning a letter grade for the course, so it will be just as rigorous for you as it would have been otherwise. So that this helps us keep up that kind of continuity in learning that we've been talking about so much. What does it mean in this case? It means that it should still you should still be working just as hard as if for a letter grade. But if you can't quite get there in the same way, n no problem. You have you have this buffer now. Um, it also then means that basically your professors can't treat you any differently. I'm totally supportive that everyone should make the right choice for themselves f per class or across the board, um, including this one, obviously, for whether or not you want to take the pass-fail option. That being said, I know that not all your professors might see it the same way, and I think the college in this case has made a choice that will really protect you. Um, that your professor can't really like think less of you or treat you differently from the students who are getting a letter grade, anything like that. That can't happen if, if they don't know, okay? So um, even so, I want to say you're welcome to tell me if you want to tell me. You never need to. Um, you also really might not know right now. And so one of the reasons why I say that you can tell me is that you can also tell me that you're thinking about it. Um, with all your professors, you have to make that call. Uh, and I know that's really hard, but this is kind of, you know, it's the world we live in. We all know this, that sometimes um, an, an option exists, but not everyone kind of views it through the same lens. But for me, I, I want you to make the choice that's right for you. And if I can help you navigate that choice, I'm glad to do it. Um, so as right now, or as the semester goes on, if you want to talk about how you're doing, to some extent, you can make the decision based around what grade it looks like you're going to get, right? That you have a long time to, to do everything and see how it's going. And so we can talk about how it's going for you, including some of the things that might be harder to calculate, like, um, knowing what your participation grade is going to be, which I make uh, after after exam week, things like that, that will affect what, you know, where your grade falls. I'm happy to go over any of that with you or just to think about where you stand in our class right now. Moreover, I can try to help you think about your other classes. Um, I, there are different possibilities with all of them. Um, another big difference from normal is that there are a lot of classes that uh, normally you couldn't take pass-fail because something counts towards your major or the common course of study uh, or fulfills some particular requirement. But right now, we've opened it up that, that, um, that there are a lot more options. Uh, nearly all the classes are uh, available to be taken pass-fail if that's what works for you. Okay, so if you want someone to help you weigh all those things, of course, talk to your friends. I think that when you're talking to classmates, you all think of really things that faculty can't think of in giving you advice. Um, but I'm happy to be there for you to be a, just a sounding board or, or to think about it um, and to tell you what I would do if I was in your place, which is not the same thing as knowing what you should do. But I'm, I'm happy to try to offer whatever help. I can give you. Okay, so just let me know. We can meet on Zoom. You can send an email, whatever you want to do.